G'day all. Uh, back from the high country trip, and unfortunately, my ute did not make the whole trip unscathed. So, I've uh, had to buy something, and uh, what got damaged, you may ask. Well, the exhaust should not be hanging down like that, I'm sure you're aware, and it shouldn't have a coat hanger holding the front end of it up. So, I have uh, purchased a new exhaust. What I need is a tripod, which I neglected to take on the trip, which made things a bit harder and I'll set this up and I'll be back to you in a sec okay ignore the mountain of junk in the background let's uh, do this get this off Come on. Um, so new exhaust Let's see what we've got here. So, I didn't fork out the big bucks to go stainless. Assuming that's accessories. We'll open that first. So, I've gone for a three inch mild steel. So, there's uh, bolts. Nuts, bolts, gaskets. Very good, nice little package in a box. I will uh, put up on the screen how I purchased this off because I cannot remember. So there actually is the section that failed on mine. The flex joint there. Nice. Big ball. Down the ground. The next section back. The rear section. The outlet there. I hope I've got this in sort of a good spot where you can see it. No. Let's go up a bit more. So that's uh, the rear section. Hangers on it. Put him down there. Hot dog muffler. And, last but not least, the downpipe and catalytic converter. So, make some light. Sorry. Cat all looks good in there. So it's got uh, space for the oxygen sensor. Bolts up to the turbo, and now I'm not sure how much this I'm going to film because working under a car and filming is not very fun. But I need to pull the old one out and try and bolt this one in.
Well, here is a nacarated flex joint. Um, you can see, quite well rooted. Um, now I need to try and get the downpipe off. Got the old system off. And I did uh, purchase a workshop manual with the express view of uh, doing this and a few other jobs. Unfortunately, whilst it was supposed to arrive last week, it has not arrived. So, I now need to look at what the hell I'm get to those bolts on the back of that turbo hand. I can see one. So, those of you who may be familiar with Colorado and D-Max exhausts might be thinking, Daniel, you didn't show us how you got the downpipe off and how the hell did you get that downpipe off? Well, uh, I didn't. Uh, after looking at it, I realised it was well out of my leg. Uh, took it to a mechanic. 100 bucks. They got it off, so didn't completely install it myself, but it is what it is. I'll let this uh, gasket goo cure up a bit, and uh, then we'll give her a start and give her a listen. <laughs> 